Ah, you're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. You've earned quite a reputation on Tython, personally ending a threat to the Jedi Temple. Inspiring. How did you acquire such knowledge? People in the know stay that way, by employing people like me. I represent Venara Kale, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. My time is growing short. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Senator Kale believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. I don't have time to meet with politicians. You misunderstand. This matter is urgent. Lives are at stake. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. Bemrati Haivo, Semper Finst Jun, Omnisan, Dumul Ganyor Nord. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. They should be thankful. If this were the Empire, they'd be slaves. Or worse. I fear their current situation is little better. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. Why haven't you forced all the refugees out? Once they're gone, the gang goes with them. Past attempts to forcibly relocate refugees ended poorly. The criminals helped the people resist and came away looking like heroes. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. A battalion or two of the Republic's finest will solve that problem. A full-scale military response is out of the question. The collateral damage would be more than we can bear. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. If the situation's as bad as you say, your people didn't survive. There's still hope. If my security forces were dead, those gangsters couldn't resist letting me know. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix in Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy containment without casualties. I'm extremely impressed. The Jedi of all people should appreciate what we've created. It's a non-violent means of ending war. Regardless, you've allowed the Planet Prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Master Kiwix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here finding those design files. 
Anything is better than talking to politicians. A Jedi after my own heart. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? They'll hand over everything they stole, or else. We don't want to start a gang war, but I doubt we can avoid using force. The Guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. When you find Vistus, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. Honorable Jedi, a moment, please. I greet you on behalf of the great and noble Senator Dolly Burbark. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. What does this have to do with me? Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. That's all very nice, but what's the crisis? I was just getting to that. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic Security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. The officers at Republic Security sound pretty pathetic. Someone around here needs to take a stand against the Migrant Merchants Guild. The Senator wants me to find that someone. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. This is almost going to be too easy for me. I can see you're a man of action. Perfect for this job. I'm glad I found you. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. I'm desperate, Mal. I wish I could help, Nick. I really do, but I can't spare the manpower. Is this what the Republic has been reduced to? Indifference to the suffering of aliens? Does whining about it make you feel better? You call protesting the neglect of peaceful Republic citizens whining? For us, there is no justice. We are ruled over by gangsters who call themselves the Migrant Merchants Guild. While Republic security... Nick, none of you should be living here. We can't guarantee your safety. You know that. Our homes were buried under rubble during the war. Not our fault the businessmen here are all crooks. Is everyone living here so sensitive, or is it just you? I'm sorry if my pain causes you discomfort, but the situation is intolerable. The Republic considers us squatters and wants us out. The Migrant Merchants Guild claims to protect us, but all they do is exploit us. Now the Guild has kidnapped my mate Rhea and put her to work as an entertainer. Rhea! Forced to dance for the pleasure of scoundrels! You lost your mate? Big deal. Get another one. This is not some droid I speak of. This is my beautiful partner. There's no telling what humiliations and depravities Rhea has been forced to endure. My beloved is worth a great deal to me. Bring her back and I'll reward you handsomely. I'll handle it. Thank the ancestors. I cannot express what this means to me. Rhea is being held with the other dancers in the guild headquarters. She's a beautiful Nautilin with lovely green headdresses. I'm sure you'll know her. In accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Bark's page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. Just do it. You'll feel better when it's done. 
We'll see. Under security appropriations policy B-71, I'm allowed to share classified information, if you're working for us. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? For me, this is just about earning some spending money. All right, I get it. You should still know the truth, though. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for Senators. You expect me to do what about this? Put on one of those slave collars and let me shock you a few times. You'll care. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. Jedi don't do work like this for free. I can offer you the standard rate. The Senator's probably offering more, but it'll be dirty money. Find the chips and get out of the Guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. Cut power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn. Senator Kale said you need backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. They'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. Look on the bright side. Politicians are easy to replace. Tell that to the people flying speeders up there. They'll die first. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. No telling how many will die. Have to hand it to the bad guys. They know how to put on a show. You're here to help us, right? The gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. We get enough terminals, we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there. I'm here to see a friend of mine, Rhea Delarue. Thank you for considering Hanera's dance troupe for your entertainment needs. How may I please you this day? What does someone like you see in a loser like Nick? Oh, please don't tell me he sent you. Should have known he'd try something like this. I'm afraid you've wasted your time. I'm not here against my will. I'm afraid you lost me. I'm sorry, I should have told Nick the truth. I was just hoping to spare his feelings. Life with him was miserable. Not only were we barely scraping by, but I was fed up. His jealousy was driving me crazy. 
He didn't want me talking to anyone or going out. Life here is... it's better. <laughs>